Uh, ciao, studenti. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at uh, essere in the context of sentences. You'll have to know the forms of essere and also how to determine which forms of the verb to select when you are actually uh, in a sentence. Let's look at the first one here. These exercises are found on pagina 31. This is esercizio 139. So, following along, uh, the first one says Paola blank studentessa. So how am I going to figure out which verb to take? Well, first of all, you have to ask yourself, who's the subject of the sentence? The subject is Paula. That is one girl, a female. Therefore, what verb corresponds to that subject? Well, Paula is a lay, and so you need the lay form of the verb essere, which in this case is e. Paula e studentessa. Noriko blank Japonese. Noriko is a Japanese boy's name, so the sentence wants to say Noriko is Japanese. So we have to, again, figure out, what is Noriko? Well, that's a Louis. Therefore, we need the Louis form of essere, and so it is, same as number one, e. Noriko e Japonese. Numero tre. Io e Paolo blank studenti. This is a little more complicated. You have to ask yourself, who's the subject of the sentence? Just like you do all the time. But is this a singular or a plural subject? Well, io is singular, but io plus somebody else now makes that plural. So the first person plural is no longer io, it's noi. So now we have to figure out, okay, which form of essere corresponds to noi? And if you've memorized essere, you know that it is siamo. So let's look at the answer. Io e Paolo siamo studenti. Okay? Numero quattro. Lei blank professoressa. It's a tricky one here because lei means she. Lei also means you formal. Now, lei uncapitalized is she. If the L is capitalized, it is you formal. But this is at the very beginning of a sentence. So we actually don't know whether this is referring to she or you. But it doesn't really matter because it's going to be a either way. Lei a professoressa. So this sentence could mean you are a professor or it could mean she is a professor. But the a corresponds to Louis lei and the capital L lei. Make a note of that. Numero cinque. Pablo blank spagnolo. Pablo is Spanish. This is going to be the same as number one and two. Pablo is a he. It's a Louis. Therefore, we need the Louis form of essere. It's a Pablo e spagnolo. Numero sei. Il signore Martelli blank professore. Mr. Martelli is a professor. Same thing here. A Mr. Martelli. Well, that's still Louis. One person. Louis that's uh, he, therefore I'm going to say e. Il signor Martelli e professore is. Numero sette. Sara e Linda blank studentesse. Sara and Linda are students. I need to have the loro form here. Look, because it's two people, both females. One female would be lei, but two or more would be loro. Therefore, I'm picking the loro form of the verb yesterday, which as you can see is sono. Numero otto. To a Juan blank Mexicani. You and Juan are Mexican. Okay, we have the two form. The two form singular would be say, but this is not just the singular. Two plus somebody else, that makes it voi. So you need the voi form of essere, which is siete. Look at the, my explanation there. You plus another person makes it voi, therefore you're picking siete. Numero nove. Pierre et Paul blank francesi. Pierre and Paul are French. Two guys' names. So this is not just one person, Louis. It's two or more people. Therefore, you're going to have to say they, which you know is loro. The loro form of essere is sono. And our last ex uh, number for this particular exercise is numero dieci. Tu e Roberto blank italiani. This is just like what we just saw. Two form plus somebody else makes it voi. Therefore, you need the voi form of the verb essere, which in this case, as you have learned, is siete. Okay? So, basically, in order to know how to pick the right verb, you need to, one, know the subject pronouns perfectly. Which order they are, which ones are first person, second person, third person, singular, plural. The verb, and I'll usually give you the verb that you have to fill in, whether it's essere or later ones that you will learn, and then what form to select. Remember, if it doesn't specifically say the subject and it says a name instead of the subject, you've got to pick what subject pronoun that would have been. 
And so that's how you figure out the forms of the verb to choose. So buona fortuna, and uh, we'll see you next video.